Welcome to Tiberia's Den, and welcome to another speed build. My name is Whitney. Today is the last video in the Taurus portion of our Zodiac Challenge. If you haven't seen the previous videos or the videos I did on the Aries Western Zodiac sign, definitely check those out. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description below, as well as at the end of this video. But um, And then next week, there's actually kind of a gap week in between... Taurus and when Gemini starts. So next week I kind of have a bonus um, video. I've already recorded it and everything like that. So check that out as well if you're not already. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you are notified when I post videos. But you'll definitely want to check out next week's video. And then the following week we will get into it with I think Gemini. Um, because it's me. So, um, anyway, we are, like I said, in the last portion of our Taurus Zodiac. This is the final build for these guys. This is the second house of Taurus doing the Primal Zodiacs, which, if you haven't seen the previous videos, Primal Zodiacs just combining your Western Zodiac sign with your Chinese Zodiac sign. So, there's six Sims that all combine Taurus with the final six Chinese Zodiac signs. And so, that's what we're working with here today. And it's kind of interesting. So the website that I had found, and all those are linked in the description below as well, all the websites that I'm getting all my information from and all that, they're in the description below as well. So check those out. But the color for Taurus was pink. And then I had already done all this and I was done with it and I was watching Sydney's macro... Uh, Sydney Macaretta's video <laughs> if I could talk that would be great but I was watching her video and she's doing a build series on the different zodiac signs um, and what they would look like as a build and Taurus also has pale green as a power color apparently I'm not really sure where she got her information from um, but I might do a little bit more research on like the other signs as I'm going forward just because I kind of like the idea of having some different colors mixed in there you know with Aries it was a lot of red and then Taurus there was a lot of pink and I do add in the lucky colors from the Chinese zodiac signs for the um, primal zodiacs that I do uh, I, I add in those lucky colors so like the inside of the builds are a little bit different but the outsides are obviously very heavily whatever the Western astrology uh, lucky color is or um, power color as Cindy called it so her channel is also linked in the description below I, I included a list of all my favorite simmers on YouTube uh, and so you can see them in the description as well but this is what we're working with of course we are next to the original Taurus house where I did the sim based on the uh, Western Zodiac of Taurus and they also did their Chinese Zodiac of the snake so they're in the house next door and then across the street from the house is the first house of Taurus where I did the first six sims under the primal Zodiac and so for this this house a lot of these sims a lot of Taurus um, sims are very focused on security and nice things and like the future and they work hard um, and there's kind of like a romantic aspect to them as well but especially with this set of sim it was a lot of like they like nice things <laughs> and they like to entertain and so they like to have a nice house to entertain they don't so much like going out or anything like they like more intimate gatherings and things like that so they really like to have a nice house where they can entertain and things like that so that's kind of what I was going for I tried to go a little bit more modern with the main Taurus house I went like a little bit more romantic vibes um, but with the other house I tried to go um, with the first house under Taurus I tried to go with uh, like a little bit more modern like maybe you know they have this family house and they're trying to renovate it and make it a little bit more nicer and a little bit more sophisticated this one I kind of wanted to sophistication meets romantic vibe if that makes sense so that's kind of what I'm working with here and I knew I wanted like a big yard for entertaining and things like that so that's kind of what we're working with here and I decided to go with 
pink and black again, uh, which I did for the first Taurus house for the Primal Zodiacs, um, where for the original house I went with pink and white, just because I think pink and white is a little bit more romantic in my mind, uh, where this house I, I wanted to go with the black, um, and I try to go with a lot of straight lines and things like that. And so this is kind of what we're working with here. I did do the stone for the house. I thought it looked really nice. It's not quite pink, but I think it definitely suits this build and these sims that are in here. And so right now what I'm doing is my ostrich sim, he likes to tinker and make things. So I'm trying to put all those, like, Anything he can make something on, I try to put those down. And so I'm also putting some pieces up inside the house, but there's like a candle making station, the woodworking table. Uh, the two I used are actually custom content pieces based on those pieces in The Sims. So, you know, they could easily be changed back to the original pieces that are in the game. And then I did the robotic station. I did the fizzing station out back. I did not end up keeping the fabricator just because I just, I needed a laundry room for this. These Sims, you know, these are family homes and so I really figured they would have laundry room and I didn't have any other space for a laundry room. And so I ended up sacrificing the fabri fabricator so I could do like a little laundry area in that hallway. Um, and so I ended up not having the fabricator, but he has enough other stuff that he tinkers with that I think it, it works out. And then one of the Sims is kind of like, um, my beaver Sim. She kind of is, um, I made her a conservationist. So I also wanted to add pieces from Eco Lifestyle, which you will see. So I add like the recycle bin. I have the recycle bin there from Snowy Escape. But I also add the recycle bin or the recycler from um, Eco Lifestyle. I really have a hard time remembering the pack names. So that's why I keep saying um so much because I'm, like, I'm trying to remember the names. And then I do like the water collector. I didn't do any solar panels just because I didn't want them on the roof. And there was really no good spot to put them in the yard. But I did do the wind turbines in the yard, which you will see. And I think with them, like, it takes away from, like, the family home and that romantic aspect a little bit, but not as much as, like, the solar panels would. Uh, and I kind of built them into the fence, which was helpful. Uh, and so I really tried to combine all of those aspects, which you're going to see. I put some of these bird seed feeders around, which kind of goes back to that sim as well. Uh, and then, like I said, they're entertainers. Like, several of these sims really like to entertain. One in particular, my wombat sim, really likes to entertain. Uh, and so, you know, I put several tables around. And there's the fire pit on the other side where they could gather around the fire. There's a little table over there. And then on this, the right side, um, I put another table. And then I put, like, the hot tub on that side. I don't put a pool I figured they would be more hot tub people than pool people, and so they do have a little hot tub where that easel is right now. I actually put a hot tub there instead, and so that's kind of what we're working with. I wanted to use this big hot tub, but there just wasn't enough room for it, so I ended up putting this little hot tub, and it works really nicely over there, and then I put the easel over here, and that's kind of more of like the environmental area, trying to save the planet area on that side, and then over here we have some loungers as well where they can just relax and kind of stretch out and enjoy life. Like I said, they really like, they're hard workers and they like like the nice pieces that they can add into their home. And then I use this custom content uh, brick, which I really, really liked as well. And I also add the archaeology table. There's one of the Sims, I can't remember which one it is, um, but her aspiration, I think I made her like the curator. Um, or I have also an archaeology scholar. My squirrel sim is an archaeology scholar. And then my hedgehog is a curator. And so they kind of like, you know, old pieces and, and things like that. And so I can see them going out and collecting, you know, things and maybe trying to restore them and, on their own and, and things like that. So that's why I add the archaeology table, even though it's kind of 
a bit of an oddball piece there. Uh, I still think it works really nicely for the group of sims I have and the, and the couple sims. And actually my squirrel and hedgehog have quite a lot in common, um, which you'll see when I get to their rooms. And so yeah, they I see those two kind of going off and you know, on adventures together and finding pieces from different cultures and things like that. I definitely see see those two being those type of sims. And that fizz er, right there, I actually, it got deleted somehow, which I had problems with if you saw my Ares um, builds that things were just disappearing. It hasn't been quite the problem in, in these builds, but that piece did end up disappearing. I think that was the only piece. I didn't notice anything else, but doesn't mean anything else didn't get deleted. I just didn't notice it, which is really, really frustrating, but I was able to catch it pretty quick and, and uh, add it back in. And then since they do like to entertain, I decided to go ahead and put a bar out here as well with the grill. Uh, I kind of sacrificed. I normally like to do like a little bit of counter space with along with my grill, but I figured the bar area would be more important, especially because they don't have a very big living room or kitchen and they would need a lot of outdoor space uh, to entertain. So now we are finally on to the in-house, inside of the house. <laughs> I really can't talk today. And so I'm just trying to kind of figure out what I want to go with. And so you can see I'm definitely leaning heavily on the black for like the flooring and such. And then I have pink on the walls and then the kitchen floor is pink as well. Uh, and then of course each individual room has its own uh, style based on the lucky colors of the Chinese portion of the Zodiac for my primal sims. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're working with. There's four bathrooms and I think I do those first and then I, <laughs> you'll see I jump around a lot, uh, which I mean, if you've seen the previous videos, you know, I really like to, um, just copy and paste into my different bathrooms and then I might change it up, you know, depending on if it's a master bath, but pretty much for all these bathrooms, I kept them the same. I changed the color for, I think, which, um, uh, my wombat, <laughs> which she's down here. I just changed the color. I changed it to more of a gold, uh, but otherwise all the other bathrooms are exactly the same. Uh, color scheme and everything. I should have changed because the squirrel has his own bathroom as well and I should have changed his color uh, but there is the blue in the tile there which ties into like his bedroom because his bedroom's kind of blue and but the pink really doesn't fit like the pink in the shower and the sink so I really should have changed those but I didn't so you'll see that uh, it kind of looks a little bit odd but um you know, something that's easily changed later on or in the future. So, um, but this is the first bathroom and the wolf who is downstairs as well, his room is downstairs. He would use this bathroom and then it's also a guest bathroom, uh, which he wouldn't really care about sharing. And then the other room has its own ensuite bathroom. Um, down here and then the two bathrooms upstairs three of the sims share and then the squirrel gets his own bathroom So that's kind of what we're working with here kind of had an awkward space there And so that's why I put those two two bathrooms the way they were uh, But I really like how they turned out uh, a bit different than what I would have probably done um, previously But I really like how it turned out and it all kind of fits together and so you can see that's kind of what we're working on here and I'm just going back and forth copying everything because I really like everything to just match. Um, that's probably the hardest thing. I'm not very creative and plus bathrooms are kind of annoying anyway um, and I really just don't like to spend too much brain power trying to come up with a different look for the different bathrooms which is probably why I keep them so much the same as well and I kind of just like that they they're very similar you know I think that's a little bit more realistic um a lot of times in a house you do your bathrooms have the same toilets and the same tubs and minus the master bathroom might have something a little bit different but generally you know the the supplies and such that are used for the bathroom are pretty much the same um I mean I guess 
at least in the houses I've been in. Uh, I guess if you have a more fancy house and you have a lot of money, it's a bit easier to, you know, change it up a little bit. Uh, it's like nice, I'm sure nicer houses probably have like a lot of different styles, but the houses I've been in aren't very fancy or expensive and the bathrooms typically are kind of matching. So, but we are now on to our little entryway here and I like how this turned out. I did a little uh, entryway table here where they can, you know, set stuff down, things like that. But I kind of decorated it up a lot and then I just do like a little seating area over here with just like a little plant. Like it's nothing too major but maybe, you know, if they're waiting on, on somebody else to leave they might sit there and wait or they can put on their shoes or whatever the case may be in that little seating uh, area right there and then for the table I put some books which those are custom content piece I actually changed out those flowers I didn't like them um, it was too uh, I don't know like do it yourself I guess which is nothing wrong with that and I think you know it works just nice for a lot of people but I just it didn't feel quite right for these sims in particular so that's why I ended up um, changing changing those flowers out I just didn't quite like them and I actually moved the doorway to the living room over and so I kind of play with that area a little bit as well um, I have a lot of different pictures of different like areas and things like that I put the tourist picture right there and I actually got a new custom content after this obviously um, of the zodiac of different zodiac pictures and so I'm looking forward to kind of incorporating those in my builds as well but I do like having those and so this is where I really struggled here is with this living room I couldn't get it's very small and I couldn't quite get the layout right how I wanted it <laughs> so you can see I'm playing around with it a lot and trying to figure out what works and in the end I ended up I wanted the doorway or the archway or straight across from the door to the other room but it just it wasn't working and so I ended up moving the archway right into the corner and then just kind of adjusting you know the shoes and the coat rack based on that and that way I could put my couch there the chairs again don't really work and so I move one to the corner and then this other one I actually delete and put um, a little love seat and they can still get through there just fine it is a little tight um, but there's a nice flow you know you walk around from the archway to the kitchen and then you're not having to walk in front of the TV to get to the bathroom or anything like that and then it was looking a little bit dark in here so I ended up changing the swatch of the couches and the seat the chair to pink um, just because it was it was a bit too dark uh, but I do keep the coffee table black and then of course the TV is black and things like that um, and then I wanted some kind of stereo in here and so I ended up putting a wall one on because obviously there wasn't room for any of the other stereos and then obviously some art as well uh, I think I put a plant along that wall this one here I think it's very modern and nice so I put that there and then there's the custom content piece on the other side and then over here I just kind of put um, a compilation of pictures it doesn't quite fit with the other picture on the wall but uh, you know I was just trying to find something at that point and so it is kind of what it is and you know there's six sims late living in this house and so there's going to be a little bit of differences in style and things like that but now we are on to the kitchen the wallpaper on here is actually a custom content piece which i really really like and there's actually a flooring that goes along with it as well which my video next week you get to see the flooring so um I'm really I'm really excited for the video next week and I actually spent a lot of time playing the sim I created for next week uh, just because it was kind of right up my alley <laughs> so uh, and I have a feeling once I complete the save file she might be the main sim I actually play and so I'm really really excited to have her uh, and and everything in my in my game so um, like I said if you haven't already subscribe and hit the bell notification so you do see next week's videos 
But this is the kitchen, and I really, really like this kitchen. And so you have, of course, a little dining area, and then you do have, like, a little bar area as well. And then over here, I put these, um, what, accent tables from Dine Out. And that way I had a little bit more space, and I put some fruit, some tea packets. I think I put, yeah, the little dessert tray there as well. Uh, and just little touches like that to kind of add in in there and make it look really really nice so that's kind of what we're working with and I really like how it turned out um, I really enjoy this kitchen a lot and it's probably one of my favorite kitchens I've created I think the the space is nice it's not too cramped um, but not too big either and I just really like how it turned out so now we are on to the actual bedrooms and so first up is my ostrich sim I'm not gonna read I know previously I tried to like read the whole blurb about them I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna pull out the things that stood out to me about each sim if you want to hear the whole little blurb you can check out their cast videos again the playlist for all these videos are linked in the description below but the ostrich combines Taurus with the Chinese zodiac year of the monkey and they're headstrong and self-assured passionate determined they have the ability to influence society and culture around them they're smart confident driven they have huge imaginations and love to learn new things they are problem or puzzle solvers by nature um, and not typically all that focused but they can become fixated on getting results they want they don't have hobbies they have obsessions uh, they're rarely intentionally ambitious but they kind of you know, just follow their passions and are successful because of that. Uh, and just kind of things like that. They're, you know, very creative and puzzled. they like uh, figuring things out. And so that's why he is my tinkerer sim. Like, he has a robot station in his room. He has a candle making station, the fizz making station. And I actually made him a freelancer under the crafter branch. His aspiration is master maker. His traits are maker, self-assured, and creative. And his name is Onain, which means vision, sight, see, picturize, or imagine. And so that's kind of what we're working with. The lucky colors for the monkey are white, gold, and blue. Uh, and so you can see that a lot of those colors tie into his room as well uh, and yeah he's kind of a very unique sim and I like you know that he kind of does his own thing and and he just really enjoys making things and he has a passion for it and he he's followed that his whole life and just kind of does what he wants you know um, he there's really no rhyme or reason he just does the things that he enjoys and he obviously has different interests you know from robotics to candles to fizzing um and he also has a woodworking table as well so i really wish i could have kept the fabricator but like i said he has so much other so many other things going on i really don't think it's necessarily a make or break thing and journey to batu really came in for this sim because there's a lot of like the drones and things like that that you know look like kind of a do-it-yourself or put together type thing and so I was able to kind of add a lot of those pieces in like he created those himself um, and I had the free build on but it was still taking out of the household inventory which was really really frustrating normally what I do is uh, even though well normally I haven't played the sims yet but I needed the screenshots so I'd already played them and so Normally I would go in and I would unplay the household and that way I don't have to worry about the bill taking from household funds. But I don't understand why it did anyway since I had the free build enabled. I really don't understand why it did. But it was frustrating and I ended up losing all their money. They had like 60000 because I uh, you made you know three separate households and combined them. But anyway, now we are on to my beaver sim. And that combines Taurus with the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Rooster. And so the talks about them, it says they're persistent, eccentric, romantic. They're hard workers. They prefer to create their own universe rather than wait for life to happen. They can be straightforward to the point of being blunt. Um, they can get too focused on details and miss the big picture. They hate to look foolish or incompetent. Um, they can 
be extremely dedicated uh, to the idea of their success of uh, to their idea of success. Career is of great importance. They like having nice surroundings and will indulge in their home or office setup, splurging on the best. They can be too self focused, um, things like that. So kind of you know hard workers but also like to have nice things and for her she's actually conservationist under the environmental manager and i made that because it talks about in the animal kingdom few creatures transform their surroundings surrounding environment as much as beavers do uh, so i thought that would be a great career for her but they do like nice things and they like to splurge on their house and home so I gave her the aspiration of mansion baron. Her traits are ambitious, materialistic, and she's also romantic, though, uh, which is is part of part of what goes into them. You know, said persistent, eccentric, and romantic. But they'll also sacrifice their relationships for their career, which is not always a good thing. And her name is Beta, which means incomparable woman. And of course, the lucky colors for the rooster are gold brown and yellow so you're gonna see that come through a lot in this build and i really like the red tone like i thought it was really pretty but it just really didn't fit and so i ended up changing it to a darker tone wood which you can see um just because the red just wasn't working and i really like the bed i originally had but i was trying to make the red tone work and that's why i switched to this bed which actually works because it also has the gold tied in there as well um, so I think this bed does work and then of course I tried to combine you know nice fancy with kind of straightforward and to the point because uh, I think those are two kind of contra contrasting elements of this sim like she likes nice things but she also likes things that have a purpose <laughs> and so that's kind of what I was going for here you know that, that painting uh, maybe somewhere she's traveled or she wants to travel her bed is very nice and you know i try to include nice lamps um you know old timey uh what are they called the the music thing i can't remember what they're called right now but i included that as well because i figured that would probably be more expensive and she probably enjoys antiques like some of the other sims in this um house do as well so and then of course just nice carpets for her little feet uh, <laughs> things like that and so she has her little work area in here um, there's unfortunately just wasn't enough room to create like her own office but she does have like some, like a nice little area where she works she has the little tea thing where she can pour tea and then I also included a nice lamp uh, and then her little thing over there which has some makeup and you know stuff like that and it's what it looks like and then it also has candles and then also some work stuff on the bookshelf because she would you know take her work seriously as well and then of course i found other items that i wanted to include um downstairs so i had to had to jump around because sometimes when i'm looking for them i don't always find them and then i find them later when i'm looking for other things so that's kind of what we're working with here and then i put like a little cup of coffee there which i think she would enjoy as well um some magazines and i actually changed that out to an actual makeup thing but that's my beaver sims room and now we are on to my wombat sim who is my entertainer and this combines the sign of taurus with the chinese zodiac year of the pig um, so they are strong determined sensitive and stubborn they may not show their sensitive side to others though it's hidden belief beneath a layer of friendly ma manners they're rather quiet and unsociable until they get to know you um and then they like to quietly observe uh, until they feel comfortable. Once you get them going, though, they're actually quite social and get along with many different people. They're smarter, stronger, more agile than others expect. They can be painfully overindulgent and procrastinating. Um, but at the end of the day, there's nothing that stops them from getting what they want. Uh, this is where they kind of show their slow determination and stubborn refusal refusal they prefer familiar people and places but they are fond of luxury have well-kept homes where they enjoy hosting parties they like great food wine desserts and like to indulge in worldly pleasures a bit too much entertaining guests is where they shine the most um 
and they prefer this very strongly to go into clubs or bars. So she is a politician under the charity organizer, and then she's a party animal because that gives the bonus trait a perfect host. She's a snob, a foodie, and a music lover because a lot of wombats are naturally talented in the arts, especially music. So that's where that comes in. Um, particularly blues and jazz, there's been some famous wombats such as, uh, let me see here, Robert Johnson and Duke Ellington. So that's kind of what we're working for with this sim, which is why I put her on the main floor. I figure, you know, maybe if she's hosting a get together and the other sims are just done with it, they might head upstairs where she would be on the ground floor and that way nobody else gets disturbed. Of course, there's one other room on the ground floor, which we'll get to him. That's the wolf. And so he's kind of family oriented and protective. So I see him kind of wanting to be on the ground floor. Like I said, we'll talk about him when we get to him. So I did include a guitar in here because of the musical aspect of the sim and then I knew she needed like a desk for like her charity planning and things like that and then they also like like art and, and stuff as well um, and so she would you know probably work with some of the other sims in the house to auction off like art pieces and, and things like that and they like good food and wine so that's why I use these food and wine posters um, just to kind of tie in that aspect of the sim. Uh, and so I wanted this side to kind of match where this one was a little bit different. So I ended up putting it above her bed and then I put another one that says good morning above her bed as well. And so that is her room and I really, really like it. And like I said, she has a pink bathroom and I just change it all to gold to kind of match, but I leave the wallpaper the same and like the gray tones the same as well. But I really like her room. I think it's really nice and it kind of has like a, a quiet elegance to it, which really fits the sim. Um, and yeah, that's, that's her room and this is where I realized my fizzing station is gone and I'm not happy about it. So I had to add it back in and then I just ran around to check, make sure nothing else got deleted. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at. And next up, we're going to head back upstairs to my squirrel sim. And he also has his own bathroom. And there's a reason why for that. And so this combines Taurus with the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Rabbit. And so this combines the ambition and cunning of the rat with the stubborn persistence of the bull. They are capable of creating great success in their lifetimes. They're strong-willed and they're willing to take risks necessary to lead them to their goals. Um, this represents both the best and worst side of the squirrel. They have a strong worth ethic and enthusiasm for achievement, um, but they're often too willing to sacrifice anything and everything. Uh, they'll reach the very edge of ethical and moral boundaries if need be, but usually they're smart enough not to cross legal ones, which I really like that. Um, they can become so focused on a goal, there's simply no stopping them. They're not patient in the classic sense, but they are willing to take each step one at a time in order to build the foundation for success. They know that's the best way to get glory and riches as soon as possible, um, and they inherently know it will take time to get where they want to go. And they have great instincts, they understand people very well, often partner up with others to reach higher levels of success. They're witty, imaginative, and charming, surprisingly skilled. They'll usually stay uh, loyal, but will not hesitate to do what is necessary to keep their dreams alive. And this is my favorite part. I'm going to read the whole thing here. It says, Interestingly, in the animal kingdom, the typically vegetarian squirrel has been found to prey on other small animals if need be. Though this is rare, it clearly represents the singular, singular focus and the survival instincts of the animal, which represents those born under the sign. So I thought that was pretty in interesting. Um, they are also naturally gifted musicians, so I give him a viol violin. Uh, and they also enjoy auctions and the world of art and antiques. 
So his career is a painter, but patron of the art. So like he he gathers things. He's the archaeology scholar, and he gives him the bonus trait of museum patron, which is why I gave him that aspiration. He's an art lover, ambitious, and genius, and his name is Safal, which means to succeed. Um, and so lucky colors for the rat are gold, blue, and green. So you can see I went really heavily on the blue. I did not change the bathroom, which again, I should have. I could have changed his to gold as well. Um, but I like the idea that he, you know, is an artist, but he's kind of gone into representing artists or finding like old art to sell um, and things like that. But he also has kind of that, that, um, creative side to him so I do give him some cameras I see him being really into photography in particular but he also has a little sketch pad and then like I said I did give him a violin to kind of tap into that musical side of him as well and then of course he's a big worker so he has his little desk area uh, I thought that was really important and I don't see a chair there which I'm hoping I go back and give him a chair but maybe I didn't I don't know <laughs> And so yeah, that's kind of what we're working with for my squirrel and I really like him and you're gonna see a little sneak peek when I was playtesting everything and playing these guys. Uh, he actually does something that I did not want him to do. So you're gonna see that at the end of this video if you stay tuned until then. Okay, I did give him a chair. I was like, I, I couldn't remember. I just see that I don't have a chair. I thought about giving him an easel, but I like I said, I see him being more into like photography art. Um, it's a little bit more sophisticated, I think, and, and fits his style a little bit. But, you know, that's not to say that there's nothing. He probably collects, you know, paintings and things like that. It's just his personal creative side probably comes out more in photography than it does in actual painting. I think that would be a little bit too messy for the character I created. So now we are on it to our hedgehog sim and i really like her and like i said she does have a lot in common with my squirrel sim um because she is a fashion photographer so and this combines taurus with the chinese zodiac year of the rabbit which i'm a rabbit uh, i'm not a taurus i'm a virgo but i am a rabbit and so it's kind of fun seeing you know how i connect with these sims that are different western astrology signs but anyway for the hedgehogs it says they are friendly reserved stylish and sensitive they can be shy and defensive especially in unfamiliar situations but once they open up they are great friends it can take a while to get to know them um not because they're unfriendly or polite, but they value manners and politeness very highly. They just don't like to talk about themselves and to be, tend to be very uncomfortable in unfamiliar places or with unfamiliar people. But once they get to know people, they are very warm, friendly, and well-mannered. They won't say bad things about anyone. And equally, they don't like to hear bad things about themselves. They're welcoming hosts, engaging conversationalists and imaginative thinkers. They do like to do things their own way and on their own terms. They are surprisingly stubborn and determined for having such an easygoing nature. Um, they don't need to brag, they just go out and succeed. They're creative minds, more ambitious than they appear, and often spend a lot of time on their own. And so that's why I gave her like the farthest bedroom. Like uh, She's pretty close to Beaver, but hers is kind of away from the hustle of everything else. Uh, they do like nice things and they like to make things nicer. They make great antique art dealers, fashion designers, makeup artists, interior designers, florists, gardeners, things like that. So for her, like I said, she is a fashion photographer under the freelancer career. Her aspiration is curator, so she does like to collect like nice things. Uh, so she probably works closely with the squirrel and then um, my wombat as well. Uh, as who's a you know the charity organizer and then her traits are proper good and creative her name is Hadja which means very well behaved and well mannered and the lucky color of rabbit is red blue pink and purple and you can see I went heavily with pink and purple for her and I did struggle with her room a little bit because I knew I wanted to include like a place for her to take pictures in here um, but obviously there wasn't a lot of room and so this is kind of what I came up with, the bookshelf above the desk. I'm not sure if it's functional, 
um, for The Sims, but in real life it would be. And so I, and there's plenty of bookshelves everywhere else. So I figure it works. And then, you know, her little dresser and mirror on the other side where she can change her outfits and things like that. I do put a shoe rack down here as well. She has a little seating area over there. And then this is where she has her her backdrop and her camera set up. So that is my hedgehog sim, which I really, really like. And lastly, we're going to put in the uh, laundry area real quick because, like I said, I see these sims as being the type that they would have a laundry area. And not only that, these houses would because they're family houses. And so I don't see these houses not having the laundry area. And so that's kind of why I made sure to include it and I got rid of the fabricator. As much as it pained me to do so, like I said, he has plenty of other options my ostrich sim does to, to work with. And so, of course, then I had to go around and put laundry baskets everywhere before we get into our final room. But, yeah, I really like how everything turned out so far. And finally, we are on to my wolf, which wolves combine Taurus with the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Tiger. Um, so it says they are passionate, determined, never back down from a fight. They are generally mild manner and even easygoing, e and even easygoing when things are going their way, but they are very protective of themselves and the ones they love. They will not be intimidated or let anyone coerce them. They're generous, warm-hearted, and perhaps a bit stubborn. They hold their friends and family very dear, but also have an independent nature. They simultaneously seek security and adventure. They have a determination to live their lives exactly how they desire. They simply don't accept limitations, and they rather fight than run from a challenge. As strong as they seem, they are easily hurt emotionally. They secretly care deeply how others perceive them, can be sensitive. Should have a, should they have a falling out with someone, they will need time alone to let the wound heal. They like to believe that everyone respects them as much as they want to be respected. They are good at business. They're naturally gifted le leaders. Um, they tend to have a passion for music, especially gifted in singing and playing instruments or writing songs. Uh, and then they also have a great appreciation for beauty as well. And so him, I wanted to capture both aspects. And so he's in business under management. And he's probably, if you didn't see the video where I created them on Monday, he is like in the family business. But he decided he also wanted to follow his passion for music. So that's why he moved out to live with this group of Sims. And so his aspiration is musical genius, which gives him the bonus trait of Piper. He's a music lover. He's self-assured. And he's also family-oriented. And then his name is Wilkin, which means resolute protector. So that's kind of what we're working with for this Sim. And yeah, I really like how they all turned out. And I really like how the rooms turned out. Like, I think... Um, I think this house came together really, really nicely. And part of it is that because these guys were very, very similar to each other. Like, all of them. Uh, in my Aries house, you know, there was kind of like an oddball sim here and there. But with these guys, that wasn't the case. But, yeah, we are on to the walkthrough now, followed by the screenshots. Between now and the, the screenshots is the little blurb that the squirrel is part of so um like i said i did not plan that and i was just like what are you guys doing but they had the welcome wagon and so the other tourist house had come over and there was people from that house and i was all happy and then here they are i'm going through notifications i'm like what did i just see so beaver and squirrel got up to some shenanigans in Wolf's bed, not even in their own beds. So, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave you here for the screenshots. Let me know what you think about this house, what you think, how I did, you know, anything you would have added or done different. And yeah, check back, like I said, next week for the kind of bonus video until we get on to the next Zodiac sign. And give this video a like if you haven't already. And we will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.